Welcome to the Creativity, Thinking, and Education podcast with your host, Patricia Rose Upsack. Today, we will be talking to the remarkable Mary Reynolds, who has been in education and in and creating and producing movies and doing so much for children of all walks of life. And it really is a great honor to speak to her. She has a master's in educational psychology. She has teaching degrees, and she has demonstrated expertise in every imaginable label connected to childhood. Um, She has had phenomenal success with at-risk use, with at-risk youths, it's children, by the way, the way I speak, sorry, um, into continuing state edu- universities. And she has uh, been energetically effective as educator. an educator. She's helped educators for the past um, 20 years. She has exceptional programs um, that educate professionals, business leaders, entrepreneurs, administrative assistants, and all kinds of things. And she's she abs- she does so much that it's actually much better for me just to have her talk to you about it instead of me. And so without another word from me at this second, I want to say good morning, Mary. Hi, Patricia. How are Thank you, you today? Having me. I'm doing great. Oh, good. So we're, we're, um, I am so excited about our topic today. I, um, we were talking about it. We're going to have two parts to, to this podcast. There'll be, um, the first one is a half hour and the second one's a half hour. And the first one is called Kids, Color, Personality, Style. And the subtitle is How to Get Kids to Do What You Want, When You Want. I really need that. Um, and it's, and then the second, that's about primary colors, right? This is about four primary colors, yes. Okay. And then the second one, we're going to be talking about secondary colors, and that's part two, right? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Well, I know nothing about this, so I'm really excited. Tell Mm -hmm. me, tell me all about, first of all, what this is, this personality style and, um, and how we use it. Well, I think that everybody comes into this life with uh, a certain neurology in their brains. There's a, you know, we have genes, we have neurology, we have, uh, and if you're a little bit bent towards the spiritual, you come in believing that you have a purpose or many purposes or dreams that really are going to be unique to you. And uh, where we are wired, and I like that terminology, we're neurologically wired to learn, to communicate how our brains work best to take in the information we need and and put it back out there and be productive with it. And, and, you know, I've narrowed it down to basically four styles because I want to keep it simple, number one, but in my work with thousands of people's children, uh, both as an educator and as a counselor and as a family counselor, but also working with the adults in uh, corporate business settings and education settings, like 20,000 people in two years, I was able to kind of bring it down and fine tune it so that it was real easy to get our minds around four different personality styles. Now, those can spin off into to more than that, but we're going to keep this very simple because you don't have to understand everything underneath an iceberg to be able to be able to (laughs) see, you know, to deal with just the 10 percent of the iceberg that you see on top of the water. And that's really all we're going to do. Right. Before I I, I, I hate to interrupt you. But the thing is, is I get so excited about listening and talking to my guests that sometimes I forget to have uh, like the contact information. And I really want people to be able to go to your websites and be able to find you and contact you if they need to. And I'm sure they will. So could you give us your website addresses and how people can find all of the things that you do? Well, that's a great idea. (laughs) Right, exactly. (laughs) Well, the on um, personality styles, let me give you that website. It's very simple. It's connecting with colors. All one word, connecting with colors dot com. Um, from there, that is a, a a website dedicated to personality styles. So everything that I every program I've ever developed that has personality styles in it, uh, you can find that information there. My big umbrella uh, is under my name and, uh, that is evolving. <laughs> and 
so I, I hate to do this, but I am going to give you two other sites. So oh, there's no, my fine. name. There's my name, MaryReynolds.com. Uh, and that is the new evolving site. That one is uh, has a life of its own right now and, and really centers around a blog. So if you're very interested in uh, getting weekly nourishment from me, that would be a good place to go and sign up. But the main uh, website where everything happens is called MakeADifference.com. Okay. So those are my three. But Today we're talking about colors, so um, if that interests you, just go straight to connecting with colors, so you don't have to figure out how to get there through my main my main sites. Right. Okay. That that sounds wonderful. <coughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Well, now you just started telling us about it, and I interrupted, so please continue. Well, I think it's just important to recognize and accept that we have our own unique unique way of being in the world and what I see happen um, is we tend to think our way is the only way and when we're (laughs) and uh, that's where we get into a little bit of trouble and that's where things can break down um, and where you know in relationships we just really have a difficult time because we're coming at problematic areas in our lives or situations or communication breakdowns from our predominant style the 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 way that we like to learn the way that we like to talk and until we learn and just enough so we can tune in to how somebody else thinks learns see things hears things differently than what we do we're really not going to have the level of communication that's going to give us really good productive outcomes. So, I mean, don't we all just really kind of want a good outcome? Yes, <laughs> don't we, we do. Want it to be easier. <laughs> and so to think like another person thinks or to, to kind of dive in, we have to understand their style and what, what gets them revved up. What gets them excited? What gets them uh, able to understand? And so that can feel very counterintuitive to us when we're first learning about color styles. But as you'll see today, when I just kind of give a little bit about the strengths of each style, is that just a little bit of information really can shift up your ability to see someone differently than what you've been seeing them. So the way you've been seeing some people in your life and the people that are more difficult for you to communicate with is just basically that they're the problem. So your vision is, is kind of narrowed in on what's wrong with them, that they're not getting what you're telling them, you know, when it seems so very simple (laughs) to you. I mean, how many times have I told you, well, there's right there is your little nugget. And when you hear yourself say that, that's a that's a good moment to kind of wake up and go, oh, I wonder if their style is different than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so we're making light of it. And, and that's exactly what I've seen when I've worked with people is that the, the sooner we can kind of put a little humor to this, lighten it up a little bit, people's approach with each other is much more... Um, softened, more productive, more um, mindful of whether or not we're even getting through to them. Right. The other person. Right. Well, that, you know, that's actually right there is worth, you know, the ticket. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It really is. Okay. So 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 tell us a little bit about um, these styles. Well, the first one uh, is is a blue, and and like there's a lot I can tell you about each of these styles, but I'm just going to keep it very simple today because we don't have much time. Okay. Um, but I like to start with the blues because, <laughs> I, you know, when I'm in front of a live audience, I like to kind of draw this out a little bit, and because I know the blues that are in the room with me, they're kind of sitting on the edge of their chairs right now, wondering what I'm going to say about them because they're very, very worried about what I'm going to say about them because <laughs> they're, they're the nicest people on the planet. And there's just no doubt about it. Um, 
and that's a that's a strength for them and as we go through just a highlight of these strengths what i also want you thinking about is that a strength because we come at life so strong with our strengths the strength can be problematic so i don't look at personality styles that there's a weakness in the style i look at it as we're actually so strong in what we value that that becomes problematic. It's not that we don't have enough of the right stuff. We do have the right stuff and we have the ability, the neuroplasticity to accommodate more than we're cur currently bringing in. So that's the goal of this information is not only are we going to recognize what your mind does, but now we're going to expand your mind to include how other minds work. And that's the neuroplasticity. So you have something you like to go to, but I'm going to show you how to get to another place with that. So you can kind of relax a little bit. So blues are really, really nice. There's just no doubt about it. They are... Um, they like to do things step by step. They love doing, like like kids, for example, they're the style that likes to sit down and do their schoolwork. They just oh, they yeah. like doing things. They like getting it done. Um, they, it gives them a good feeling about themselves. They like to implement systems and uh, that are logical step by step. So they don't like making up systems. They just like following systems. Uh, they like getting things done. They like that feeling of accomplishment and they're highly organized. They like, you know, so if you, uh, they like to have their desk a certain way, they got their little knickknacks. Um, and the thing about blues being nice is that they are the peacemakers. Okay. So they just like everybody and they want everybody to like them. They, they're just really important. They, they care about absolutely everyone. They're people oriented. They worry about anybody being unhappy. They're very sensitive. So, and very intuitive and they can kind of know if something's wrong before somebody even says so you so if a blue says to you today um you know are you okay and you say yeah i'm fine and they'll say oh, i don't think so now tell me all about it they want to know what's going on for you they're the ones that really do care they're very empathetic they're very intuitive they're very sensitive and i say that very strongly here because again because that's a strong point for them again that could be very problematic and so unfortunately blues are often told that they're just too sensitive and this mm -hmm. is you know and we need and there's a way to work around that that i get into with them because your sensitivity and being intuitive is a very, very, very important piece to your entire makeup. And you don't want to lose that just because somebody didn't like that you saw something that they didn't want you to see. Right, right. Okay. And you're trying to, and so if a blue tries to hold somebody accountable to something and they don't want to be accountable, that's where blues can get hurt. They're, you know, they're very sensitive. They, they, they really do care. Right, they're very right. smart people. Um, you know, they are knowledge seekers and uh, they're very benefit oriented. So these are their strengths. So, so those are the blues. Any questions about the blues? Do um, you well, I, I have a question. I mean, I, it probably is a silly question, but how, how does one, do you have some kind of test or profile? So that, how do people find out yes. what their colors are? Yes, I do. And at the Connecting with Colors website, we have a free test, okay, and then we have a report. So you can take a free test is about five quick questions, and it is just kind of a little sampler. So if you kind of think you're a blue or you kind of think you're one of the other colors, you'll, you know, from the free test, you'll get to find out, yeah, that's pretty true. Okay. Uh, that's pretty true. And that's just five quick questions. Now, the uh, P, the, we call them personality style profile, that's 20 questions. So I don't make it very difficult at all. You know, this is this is pretty quick to find out what's going on. But with that one, you get your predominant color, you get your secondary color, and you get a report that explains uh, a lot about 
every aspect about your primary and your secondary, but more importantly, on the report, you get to find out what you need to do to work with the other color styles. And that's only $9.95. So okay. I really want people, yeah, I really want people getting the information because it's going to make so much sense. And you can impact your world right away. That sounds wonderful. Okay, yes. so then what happens after blue? Okay, so the second color that I like in I like to talk about greens and um, what is fabulous about greens is that they must have a system (laughs) (laughs) and and they're highly functional and productive when they have a system and that there's not a system, they're going to make one up. Okay. So that (laughs) they, they have a creative mind as far as creating systems. So creativity is for them a little different than one of the other colors. They're constantly thinking about how to make things logical. They are the, they see the big picture long before anybody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they are highly focused. So they are all about getting the job done, whatever it is, but you know, they're thinking, thinking, thinking systems. So, um, they're very productive uh, as long as they've got a system uh, and uh, they probably won't take any action to go forward without having a system in place anyway. Uh, they're the kind of people who like to go uh, one, two, three. Okay. okay. They'll mm-hmm. have, they'll say in a conversation, one of the clues will be, so first I want you to know this. And second, after you do that, you'll need that. And then third, that, 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 that. And so th- they talk in, in, uh, you know, check marks they like uh, they feel happiest when they get their little to-do list and uh, they can check everything off of it and of course that to-do list is in an order that has a priority to it (laughs) 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 and uh, but but they're highly functional you know they're very productive people um, and they 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 really love their minds. Out of all the colors, I would say they just love their mind. They go to a place that I will call the zone. Okay, so and how you know that uh, green is in the zone is if uh, you see them kind of looking off into outer space, but not way outer space. It's about a forty five degree angle, so it's just like kind of a if you're looking at them, they're looking right above your head. Okay, uh-huh, right. So one of the other colors. They are also very creative. They go much, much higher than that. So, but if you see someone looking out into outer space, they're about 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. That most likely is a green and they're thinking up a system and they are in what greens love to think of as as the zone. (laughs) So they love the zone. And uh, they're pretty positive people. They, uh, and again, this is their strength. They believe anything can happen if you just have the right system. So something bad can happen. They're the first ones to think, now, wait a minute, we can make, you know, this is, this is, we're going to be able to make something happen here. I just need to come up with a system. Um, the other thing I ever, you'll recognize about a green is they think very fast. They talk very fast. they like to go very fast and they tend to um, take off um, way ahead of anybody else. Like I said, they see the end result long before most people are still just kind of getting their wits about them and what needs to happen. They've already decided. Um, and like I said, they like their list. Um, uh-huh. They uh-huh. like that feeling of being prepared. You know, if a green can't sleep at night, one of the best things they can do is get up and just write everything down and they'll be fine. Oh, get it understand. out of their heads. Okay. All right. Now the, and, and so these are all strengths. But as you as you listen to me talk about these strengths, you'll also see that, uh, oh, by golly, uh, that could be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> so the next color is the red. And, and just by the color title alone, we know that reds are going to be your directors. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are... They are intense. They love factual information. It doesn't matter what color, position, uh, what position or title they hold. They think they're the boss. Mm-hmm. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> doesn't right. matter. Doesn't matter what age they are. Doesn't matter. They think they're the boss. Um, 
So they are like bullet people. So when you're talking to a red, they they don't like all the fluff. They don't want to have a long conversation with you. They just want you to get to it. <laughs> bullet, 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 bullet. You know, just, you know, get, get it said and get out of there. They're just... As long as you're the one talking. Now, if they're talking, they just like to talk a doc a doc. But uh, <laughs> uh, but when they're in the enlisting mode, um, you need them to know something. You just need to put it in bullets. Um, they do not, as with the green, they're not real people oriented. They're more productive oriented. Um, whereas uh, the blue and, of course, the last one will be the yellow are very people-oriented. So that is um, a, a huge difference between how they approach things. The red likes to break things into parts. They like to oversee systems. They're in a hurry for you to get things done, but they kind of go at things slower themselves. So they don't think fast. They don't talk fast like the green. Uh-huh. Um but when it comes to getting things done, they're all about you getting it done fast. Okay? <laughs> so, you know, they're leaders, they're delegators, they're administrators, and most often they are sitting in a position of the boss. Gotcha. Not all the time. Yeah. Like you could be a blue and be the boss and the red is going to keep telling you what you should be getting done. I mean, <laughs> it just doesn't, th- it, you know, they just, because they don't need people, they aren't dependent on what somebody else thinks about them. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So they're very intense uh, about, you know, whatever it is that they're pursuing and they like factual information um they will take they are risk takers uh but what most people don't see about them is that they have analyzed something very thoroughly before they go forward with it uh they don't share with others because again they don't need other people to make their decision which is different for say a blue uh, who's always checking in to see what people think Mm -hmm. um so they love intellectual challenge. They are very competitive. Um, as sometimes, and as you can see again, all these strengths can be problematic. Right. Uh, and then the last color is the yellow. And uh, I've met, you know, kind of alluded to the fact that yellows are very creative, but they are your party people. They are your highly interactive, highly social. They love being around people, um, you know, their whole day is about how can I find a person to play with, you know, uh-huh. and they really, they really do love being liked by people. Um, and they always know where the parties are going to be at. The thing that's different about the yellow between the yellow and the blue, uh, again, they're both very people oriented, uh, but the, but people will go to a yellow thinking that a yellow really cares. And yellows don't. <laughs> <laughs> they, what they care about, what they care about is, you know, conversation, fun, keeping it light, keeping it happy. Uh, and people think that a yellow will be interested in something that's going on for them. And, and, That's blues, okay? And yellows are really just more about getting everybody together, having a good time. They don't really want to be serious. They prefer not to. Um, But they're great leaders, you know. They're very charismatic. Um, and they they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. They're natural at bringing people together. Um, when they show up at work or at school, when kids show up at work, I mean, there's just like a little sunlight there and they just like, they expect everybody to know just that they're there, you know, right. hi, right. I'm here, you know, now you can all get to work. Right. Um, <laughs> all of you can get to work. Right. I'm just going to, you know, keep everybody happy and highly engaged. Um, so, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? They, they, so they make great event coordinators. So say a yellow would be in school. They're the ones always getting the parties together. They're probably on every activity there is. Mm -hmm. They, they don't even like going home unless there's a party, you know, people getting together. 
<coughs> I do have a question. I mean, do people have combinations of dominant? I mean, because I'm listening to this, and I, you know, I um, we've talked about I have three grandchildren, um, and the thing is, is that I I don't see that either any of them would be just one of these colors. So, do we have a combination that you can put together? Yeah, we, we will get into the secondary colors. Oh, that's and right. The, that's yeah. Right. So, and, and yes, we do have color combos, and and then the big piece is how do you work with. Um, you know, a person going in and out of different color combinations and how do you recognize that and what do you do about that? So because this is where the breakdown comes in communication, especially with kids when, uh, but I want to say one more thing okay, about yellows. And that is, I mentioned before that yellows were highly creative. They're highly creative. And you know where the green was that kind of, they're, they're kind of off into the, zone at 45 well yellows are way up so when they're daydreaming they daydream their eyes are way up into the sky oh and my favorite thing to say about yellows is i can always tell them uh who they are on an airplane when i get on (laughs) because they're already strapped in and have already taken off so so they don't while they love being with people they don't need people to keep themselves entertained because they have such an Active, creative mind uh-huh. and um, learning style wise they're very kinesthetic uh, very hands-on they need to be moving so in the classroom or in the home environment uh, if you have a yellow child for example you're gonna need to you know uh, have activities mm-hmm. when when there's not people around you need to uh, have realize they're going to be physically moving and needing to do things. So, you know, you have to plan accordingly with each personality style. So, um, so back to communication and getting kids to do what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about yellows for a minute. Um, so the thing, the mistake I see parents do with yellows is they, uh, tell them to do something and they didn't really notice that the child was not looking was up in the grade out there. I call it the grade out there. Mm -hmm. They're, they're daydreaming. They're not even here, you know, they're not even in their bodies. And so a couple things, uh, parents need to do specifically with yellows is to touch them on the shoulder that usually gets them back in their bodies but also to make, to, you know, that little sign that you make with a V and you put your fingers to your eyes and you say, look at me, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yeah. Well, you know, and I, they do this in dog training. Um, they make a dog who's distracted. They say, look at me, look at me. And they put a finger right between the two eyes. Well, I kind of like the two, you know, look at me with the two fingers, however you want to do that. But you want that eye contact before you ever give a directive okay so you know it's not about the child not wanting to behave it's it's not about them not wanting to do what you're asking it said they're not with you and they're not on the same page as you they are not listening because that's not where their minds are and there's Mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that that's you know so when i talk about how this is you know their design of their mind um, for, you know, how they're going to live in the world and what they're going to create in their lifetimes, what they're going to do. Now, within that, they do need to expand neurologically. They, you know, you do need as a parent or as a teacher to work within that uh, genetic structure. You can expand that. It's called neuroplasticity. Right. So just because that's a predominant style doesn't mean you can't expand on it. It doesn't mean that it's non-negotiable. Right. doesn't mean that it's in stone. It just means that now other people in this industry who are personality style specialists will tell you that that's it. You know, that's all you got. No, and yeah, I don't believe that. I'm never going to go beyond that. <laughs> and but I have been all of the above. I have been all four styles. I life demanded that I be, you know, life demanded that I expand my neuroplasticity, that I become more 
in my use my brain right. and so um so i i i really will say that i do not agree with that philosophy and i understand why they say that uh i started out as a real yellow uh blue and i haven't seen yellow in a long time <laughs> no, no, i would say that who i am today predominantly my go-to is is much more green but that's what life really demanded of me but i remember back in grade school and high school and how yellow was so predominant in me and i cared so much you know that yellow blue combination uh-huh. and i really struggled with doing schoolwork not because i didn't have the intellect but number one teachers didn't know how to teach or work with me without shaming me and humiliating me and the same is true with my parents um as a as a way to get me back in my body you know which right. of course as soon as you're shamed and humiliated you leave your body because you know it's it's all pretty awful right there right now right. um so, so so mary you know what uh-huh. we're going to have to do um we're going to have to wrap up this segment and then we're okay. going we're going to move in to the second part, which then you can finish up the primary colors and we'll move into the secondary colors. Well, um, we are finished with the primary. Oh, we We're are. Finished. Okay. So we are ready to oh, move into good. the second. All right. Well, thank you very, very much. You're wonderful. And we will talk to you again soon. Thank you for joining me here at the Creativity, Thinking, and Education podcast. Please visit us at happyteachershappystudents.com. And if you find value in this podcast and the message we are trying to spread, then click the subscribe button and give my show a review, hopefully a good one. I am so excited to be able to share the timeless awareness of all of our guests. And next week we will be continuing this conversation with the remarkable Mary Reynolds.